Hi, my name is Jasmine Anjali. I'm a solo female traveler from Germany and in this Costa Rica series I'm for once not traveling solo but I'm on a group trip through Costa Rica with my bestie and our last stop was beautiful Santa Teresa. But first, how do you actually get to Santa Teresa? We came from Monte Verde where we had to take a bus to Ponte Arenas hop on a ferry which had its beautiful views and take another bus until we arrived. You can take the same way from and to San Jose which takes about 6 hours or like we did on our way back to San Jose fly from Tampo airport but more on that later. We just arrived and it's a beautiful hostel that we're staying in. Actually the uh, Selena hostel here in Santa Teresa, really beautiful. So yeah that's the room and we're gonna have dinner later, we already went to the beach and yeah let's start the Santa Teresa. We went back to the beach before dinner to watch the incredible sunset and enjoy our second to last night with the group. The next morning we started our day at Somos Cafe which was the best breakfast place we could find in Santa Teresa and not far from the Selena Hostel in South Santa Teresa as well. The remaining of the day was spent on the beach relaxing with the group. The beach we went to was Banana Beach which is in the north of Santa Teresa and I can highly recommend. On our last tour day, we did a day trip to Montezuma, where we hiked to this waterfall. The rest of the group hiked to an even better part of the waterfall, but some of us girls were in the mood and stayed at the spot, which was also lovely. Later, we spent a few hours at the beach, where we encountered a group of wild monkeys. Honestly, such an amazing experience, but it also made me aware again of how polluted our oceans are and as this little monkey fished a piece of plastic out of the water and wanted to eat it. Honestly, so sad to see. So guys, after two nights at the wonderful hostel of Selena in North Santa Teresa, we actually made it to our hotel that we're staying for the next two nights before we're going back to San Jose and then back home. Um, it's actually a really nice resort. It's just a bit up the hill, so not that accessible, but it's really nice for you if you just want to relax after a tour like we did. And yeah, I'm going to show you the So room. this is what you see when you come in. There's the door. Then here is um, the bath bathroom with the toilet. Um, and then that's basically the room. We already made a mess here. Um, that's the bed, really nice. Then we have like this very open bathroom. Um, it might actually be more nice if you're with your boyfriend or whatever, but it's fine, like she's my bestie, we know each other. Um, and then we have this little thing here. There was actually something to sit on, but um, the owner said that because of the rain, it's not great to do that um, because everything gets dirty and stuff. And then we have some little pads here as well. There's one and another one. They're so cute, I swear. And then, um, yeah, we also have a bit of an ocean view, but we booked um, a villa with the jungle. It was 60 euros per night, I think. Um, now we're going to the pool, enjoying the beautiful pool as well, because the view is just breathtaking. You can take amazing photos there, um, which I'm all about, you know. So yeah, we're gonna have a swim and then, there's the light better. Um, and then I'll see you guys later. We chilled by the pool for a bit until we decided to grab some food. Unfortunately, this hotel was a bit on the outside of Santa Teresa, so I would recommend renting a car and staying here. We found a cute sushi restaurant, which was actually very delicious and accessible by foot. So, we just came back from dinner, and guess what was in our room? Uh, Sandra is currently trying to get someone to get it out of it, but that's... That was what's happening in tropical country. Good morning, guys. Welcome to your last day in Santa Teresa. Tomorrow we're actually flying home to, or not home. We're going to San Jose first for another night and then we're flying home. Um, but today is the last day in Santa Teresa. We're gonna have a really chill day. Um, and then by the end of the day, we're actually getting tattoos. I'm so excited. I already have like three tattoos. Um, but this is actually my first one I get abroad and um, I'm very excited. 
excited. We're gonna have Pura Vida, which is so standard, and then a palm tree next that I'm gonna show you to you later once we have it. Um, but we're getting it with our friend Anne that we met on the tour. She's from Belgium. And yeah, we're really excited. Um, can't wait. Uh, this is gonna be so much fun. And I wanna do that more in the future, be more spontaneous and get tattoos somewhere while I travel around the world. It's so fun. <laughs> The majority of the day was spent at the beach and later on at the pool before we met our friend for our tattoo appointment later that day. We got it done in the kitchen of an Argentinian tattoo artist, which I know sounds very sketchy, but we got her recommended and she was actually amazing. Oh guys, oh my gosh, what a night yesterday. We said goodbye to our friend Anne and also before that we got our tattoos. I'm gonna show it to you guys in details now. But basically we got Pura Vida, which has such a cute meaning. I know it's like a basic tourist tattoo here in Costa Rica, but it was honestly, um, I don't know, I love the meaning behind it. And the tattoo artist we went to was like super cute. We got it down in her kitchen, which is so random. And I know it, lo it sounds a bit sketchy, but yeah, she's an incredible artist and um, you wouldn't have done it if we had like a bad feeling with her um but yeah other than that we are heading to the airport in a bit um we still have a few hours until we have to leave we're going to the tampor airport there we drove about an hour from santa teresa to tampor the airport was literally the smallest i've ever been to and it's actually on the side of the road if you want to fly to San Jose like we did, you can choose between two airlines. One is Santa Airlines and the other one is Rica Green Airways, which is what we chose. Um, just to be aware, the one hour flight is super super bumpy. I usually don't have any problems with flying and also been in smaller planes like this before, but this flight was definitely not great for my stomach. The next day was our last day and we spent the morning exploring San Jose and also went on a little shopping spree to get some last minute souvenirs before we went to the airport to fly back home to Germany and end our amazing trip to Costa Rica. That latest series is now coming to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos on our trip to Costa Rica and found them helpful. I know I had the most amazing time there and I can't wait to return to Latin America in just a few months. Get excited for that. Until then, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!